Sup sup, welcome to another video and welcome to a whole new year. I mean, hey, we can maybe set aside our differences. I mean, who am I kidding? Really, set aside our differences. Do I really listen to myself when I talk? No, I don't, obviously. Because today, I've come to you guys with another discussion topic and this one i don't know how many people is going to piss off today but i want to get this point out and i don't know if there's room for argument or agreement between here but i'm going to come out and say it you guys see the title the thumbnail i think ayato is probably the closest to being a perfect character now hey i know i know people are like does he not know raiden exists does he not know nahira exists understand when i say the perfect character is that a character that meets the needs of the biggest demographic of players likely that's also debatable because when it comes to taste and characters everybody has a different taste and requirements but my point is ayato is actually both handsome enough meaning that when it comes to fans and supporters he actually has a decent amount but at the same time when it comes to strength he is great in terms of capabilities combat wise utility wise he's a great character but at the same time this is the kicker this is the thing i want to hammer home to you guys all right he's not a broken character for example a lot of people right now don't want to play Ganyu, don't want to play Hu Tao, don't want to play Raiden. In fact, a lot of people, even in my previous videos, you guys were arguing this. So don't backpedal now in saying that, oh, right? A lot of people don't want to see two Raiden because they say it's too damn strong. It makes the game not fun. It clears content too fast. So now I present to you Ayato. A man who actually can draw out the content to the degree that you want to draw it out to. Do you want a fast clear? The man's capable of ha having a fast clear. You want a relatively slow clear? The man's capable of a slow clear. And do you know what's the best thing out of all of this? This dude is of the hydro element. So that means he has access to damn near the entirety of Genshin Impact's meta arsenal yes you heard me correct this man touches from the west to the east he touches everything your booty cheeks ain't safe my booty cheeks ain't safe i mean ayato truly is the whole package in terms of wealth story lore coverage he is present and you are aware of him but at the same time he is not overbearing he is not over the top but before we go any further, I think you guys are already feeling a little ticked off. You're getting a little uncomfortable saying, Walrus, why are you pushing this guy so much? He's not spectacular, let's be honest. We gotta talk meta. And all seriousness, is this guy even worth it to pull? And yeah, jokes aside, memes aside, Ayato is actually a very decent character for you to pick up. So if you guys don't care about the lore, you guys don't care about how he looks, who he is, his background story, whatever, he's still a pretty decent character. If you take a look at this character's usage rate, for the most part, he is actually hovering somewhere between 20-30% consistently. You know why? Because first and foremost, Ayato, like I said earlier, is a Hydro character. He is a Hydro character, meaning that he has access to a ton of different team comms, Electro Charge, Freeze, Vaporize, and now even Bloom. And I kid you not, this man actually can perform surprisingly well in all of these team comms. And not surprised to tell you that, you would find him being recommended if you want to play meta comms in some of these categories and reactions. But why do i think that he is closer to being a perfect character than tartaglia right that's the meat of the story people are gonna say well walrus there's other great hydro characters there's kokomi shingchu there's yalan there's tartaglia tartaglia mr worldwide what sets apart ayato from tartaglia and i'll tell you guys that tartaglia is a character that's essentially high risk high reward he has great multipliers higher multipliers in comparison to ayato but you gotta understand how that character is supposed to be played right in fact tartaglia and ayato shares similar compositions you can always swap one out for the other but let's get real here in terms of genshin's player base the vast majority of you guys are probably semi-casual players or 
more leaning towards the casual side yes there's gonna be like a total of six of you guys who are watching who can recite to me via morse code the exact transcriptions of elemental gauge theory right it's just very far and few between people who want to actually put in the time and effort to learn exactly how a character's kit functions with all their synergies it's just not realistic to ask me to do that that's why i keep saying Ayato is like the easy version of Tartaglia. Yes, you do have to give up something though. This is not a sweet deal to the point where you have no sacrifices. The downside of playing Ayato over someone like Tartaglia is the lack of great multipliers. You cannot really hit for huge single target burst numbers. Ayato is a sustained DPS. He's meant to stay on field, hacking and slashing. Now, another thing people will notice is that Ayato is not very mobile. Yes, when you're playing Ayato, you're essentially stuck in one position and you're using your elemental skill, you're hacking and slashing. However, I felt that Ayato's hack and slash deals enough like disruptions that medium to small size enemies actually are staggered or interrupted during his attacks. It's really only the boss tier monsters or the super elite monsters that you have to worry about but even those scenarios you have play arounds and it's not so punishing as if oh I spent some time dodging and now suddenly I, I like I lose all my damage. It's not so much like that. His elemental infusion is actually incredibly forgiving in terms of how you use it and when you use it. So meaning that newer players, players who are either playing on mobile phones, who don't want to think about too much, ends up in a scenario where, hey, you know, Ayato is the kind of character where he has great ceiling space. His lore is actually quite high as well. Even if you just do the bare minimum for him, he still performs decently well unlike certain other characters who really requires a lot more investment to make work now moving forward i want to highlight the importance of having a character such as ayato in your arsenal if you're a free-to-play player or a low spender you likely are not going to be able to get access to all the meta team comps or every single shift in the meta you're likely not going to be able to catch up however there has been a key staple in most meta comps and that is the presence of a hydro unit yelan shingchu kokomi even barbara is a great stand-in before you get access to all these amazing characters and now we have tartaglia ayato going forward we likely will get more hydro characters in fact the only hydro character that really kind of fell flat on their face in my head right now is candace and even candace this, I can't shake this feeling that somehow in the future likely she will make a comeback. Hydro characters are a staple in the game. If you are going to invest in uh, one type of character, I highly urge you to invest in a solid hydro unit. Kokomi is great, Shinchu is great, Ayato is great. Now if you want to go for a more on-field character, Ayato is probably your best bet. Uh, if you want to go for off-field characters, depending on what you need to fill, right, we have plenty of options. Even with uh, Nilu being released in Sumeru, it's proven that I guess even when a Hydro character doesn't really do Hydro, uh, and they are so damn unique to the point where they actually facilitate the whole new place out, they are still utterly busted and broken. So, this brings me back to the title of the video. Ayato is closest to being the perfect character, and why do I say he's closest but not perfect yet? The downside to Ayato is that at the end of the day, he doesn't have like a Hoyoverse specialized event weapon for him, which means most players would end up having to either craft free to play weapons or give him five star weapons. Now he has great alternatives as to what he can use for five star weapons, especially with him being a five star character, right? Like getting him and his weapon probably isn't very realistic for most people, but there are other five star weapons that he has found great success with. One of which is the Jade Cutter. And this weapon has been around for quite a while. And it's to no one's surprise that some free to plays might actually have one just sitting around. So 
if you're free to play and you have the jade cutter very very solid pickup but if you don't have the jade cutter there are certain four star weapons that also can work depending on different compositions this man can switch and swap different weapons to capitalize on the fact that he is a hydro on field dps character he has great application as well with his burst which gives him some sort of off field presence like i said this character truly does it all the biggest counter argument to him being a great overall character is that people saying he does too much He's trying to do too much at the very least, and which ends up making him very mediocre. Genshin is a game where specialized characters can fit slots much better than Jack of all trades, and a lot of people would say, well, I prefer to go for somebody who's much better in one area of the game as opposed to somebody who's really decent at all areas in the game. That's a fair argument to make. But again, I'm telling you guys, in terms of free to play and even low spenders, it's very difficult to get access to the best tools available. For example, the last character banner, Scaramouche. If you're a free to play or a low spender, right? It's very difficult to say you're going to get a C6 Fadozan, the best tool available to support your Anemo carries. That's my point. Genshin is slowly developing into a game where you're going to need more and more support and tools and like in this case, for Scaramouche, Constellations on other characters, even before Scaramouche, right? Pulling Nahida, investing into the whole Dendro meta is very important if you want to synergize with some of the more modern meta team comps. Ultimately, it's up to you how you want to play the game, who you want to pull, but I'm telling you guys, Ayato seems to be that character who came out like fine wine and he has aged he hasn't really aged to be honest he hasn't changed he's still just as good as when he came out like i said between 20 and 30 percent very consistently and that's with him not having the most successful character banner what does that tell you that means even for a mediocre banner sale in comparison to some of the more successful ones he is being utilized by the people who has pulled him he has not really been dropped why is that because this man does it all he can be on field off field synergizes with four five six different meta reaction teams now am i giving him too much credit maybe right maybe i'm just pushing him a little more than most people would like to yes he is not the best character right in terms of utility even he's not the best but what i'm saying is in terms of a character that can bring you fun and variety in playstyle as well as being strong enough to clear the game relatively easily with access to you know mobile gamers and pc gamers i i don't know like if you have bad ping he works fine as well he's not so specific and unique to the point where you need to aim with your mobile phones if you have a older model mobile phone with bad ping he works just as well that's what i'm saying right he is very well rounded in more ways than one i think ayato will service people better than what the community gives him credit for and the the reason he's not talked about more is because he is so balanced. Understand that most of you guys get news from content creators, big content creators, and they're not going to talk about somebody who is balanced or just normal. It's boring. It's not exciting. They can't hype it up. They can't clickbait it as easily. So they talk about other characters who are much easier to clickbait. And it's no fault to them, right? Like, why waste your time talking about a character who is well balanced in all sense of the matter? And there's really no controversies about him. But on the contrary, that's why I think Ayato is a great pickup for most people. Okay, comment down below what you guys think. I think this one went on for a little longer than I needed to. But again... Happy New Year, first video of the year, and let's start this year strong. Okay, till next time, urge you all to stay safe. Peace, peace, bye.